Hey, what's going on guys? DJ has here, collectivekicks.com. Wanted to bring you guys a video today, show you guys a pair of KD9s that I ended up doing on Nike ID. And I gotta say, I'm super excited the way that these came out. Um, beats my expectations for sure. Like, I thought that the design was pretty clever when I uh, created these. And, um, you know, I don't know what it is about the KD line. It's one that's kind of been like difficult to design something, but some of the, the best creations that I've done, I think come from, uh, the Katie line. The other one that I really, really like was the Dexter, uh, Katie's that I ended up doing and pretty much every element of those shoes really fell together. This one I think is another one that really ties the character into the shoe quite well. And sometimes that's really hard to do. Um, the other thing is, is the first half of this, the front half of the shoe is uh, fly knit, as you can see. And then the back half is um, just kind of a mesh material with some padding underneath it. But this fly knit material is sometimes really hard to come up with a design because it's very limited in colors. There's not a lot of graphics they can do, just multicolor threads and, and other sorts of things like that. But for this one, I think it worked out well. So it kind of encapsulates like the Homer Simpson vibe with these shoes with the yellow hits and then the blue and the white for the shirts and the pants and then the little hits of brown. Um, and then on the inside it says mm on one and then on the other one it says doe like uh, so I just kind of made them for fun like that and uh, I think that all around execution of these uh, was was good leave a comment let me know if you guys are feeling the uh, the Homer Simpson joints right here I definitely am going to do a sprinkled donut sort of uh, logo and something else I'm not quite sure yet what I'm gonna have uh, herb juice cook up but it's gonna be some patches some custom pa some custom patches made for these I don't know if I'm going to replace this uh, tongue spot. I might actually do that. I might just re replace it on the tongue right here and then remove this because I can do that pretty easily. Um, but look for an update on these when I get that done. I'm really excited to, to get that uh, with the, like the, you know, the sprinkle donut and, and then something else. I'm not sure. We'll, uh, we'll find out soon. But um, this shoe is actually a beast. Like, like it's pretty amazing. Full length, visible zoom air. And if you don't know what that is, check out these threads right here. So you see when I push down, they flex like that they're just really dope and i love that this front section right here is, is different it's like a different segment from the back section you can tell the transition is really nice these got to be beasts on on the court but um but that's it dude i'm really happy with the, the way that these came out I did the yellow liner on the inside and the blue and then on the blue on the tab and on the back heel area as well and then uh that yellow hits across the laces and then the yellow paint splatter on the midsole. Well, that's white. Um, if you guys are wanting to design this exact pair, I will link it in the description. And uh, also, if you guys want to just have fun designing your own Nike IDs, go check it out and try to do that. But I've given away two different Nike IDs recently. One Kyrie Nike ID, and then I did a giveaway with three different pairs of sneakers, an Adidas, a Saucony, and a Nike ID. And uh, I ordered those ones for the other guy. Should be expecting those within the month, and they're like some, some Kobe's that he ended up doing. But... Uh, but really happy with, again, the way that these came out. I'll go ahead and show you what they look like on feet right here. So have you guys played around on Nike ID before or not? If you guys actually have never touched Nike ID, leave a comment. Let me know why. And if you have, um, what's your favorite model to design? Like for me, I look forward to every single new model that ends up coming out because it's really fun to design new things. So far this year, I've had the most fun with the Kyrie 2s. As you guys already know, I've done three different Kyrie 2 Nike IDs. And I usually only do one per model. So that was one where I really enjoyed it. The price point was low, low enough that it was worth doing, but the prices have gone crazy. Like some of the LeBrons were upwards of $300. So kind of insane, like um, to do like the LeBron elites or something like that, uh, that I ended up doing before. At the end of the day, it's a lot of fun to be creative and create your own pair of sneakers. And it's kind of a more fun way of doing things than buying just the one that you can, you know, buy every weekend. At least it's fun to give it a try every now and then. But hopefully you guys enjoyed my Nike ID and thank you guys for watching the video. Thumbs up if you guys support the video. And uh, if you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. Trying to hit 200,000 subscribers. It means a lot to me to have your guys' support out there. And we'll catch you guys for some more videos soon. Peace, guys.